the S, the U, the P, the E, the R, the S, the H, the A, the R, the P, the S, the H, the O, the O, the T, the E, the R, the R. The S, the U, the P, the E, the R, the S, the H, the A, the R, the P, the S, the H, the O, the O, the T, the E, the R, super sharp. The S, the U, the P, the E, the R, the S, the H, the A, the R, the P, the S, the H, the O, the O, the T, the E, the R, the S, the U, the P, the E, the R, the S, the H, the A, the R, the P. Back again, another review on all of the headsets. You know what? Come to determine after reviewing these, I, I want them all. Got them all hooked up. I got four splitters coming up my mix amp, and I got all of them hooked up at the same time. Now, I'll tell you what, think you can beat me, Call of Duty? with all these headsets? Think so? You're probably right. Once again, man, I'm back. Um, and after uh, reviewing um, all the headsets and things that I did in the past, um, I'm still asked to do more for you guys. So, you know what? I don't have anything better to do, you know? I, I do what you tell me to. So, what did I do? I bought them all back. I, I did a thorough review and comparison on the Astro A40s, 720s, the X Pros, the AX360s. Um, so, yeah, all four. Um, I ended up doing uh, numerous comparisons yeah, and, and, and tests, um, one of which being a um, frequency sweep. Um, I did. I uh, mic'd up each headset and did a test tone from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Um, and I will display every uh, waveform and kind of go over um, every one individually as much as I can. Um, so I did that test. That's coming up. I did a test to. Uh, to test the every headset's ability to pinpoint direction. Got some audio that um, I captured with the same mic. Um, it was just me on Afghan, just playing the empty map. I just shot the ACR a few times and fired up um, the, the new tube so you guys can kind of hear how all that sounds. Um, I'm going to kind of settle this thing once and for all. Um, yeah, let's get to the bottom of it. Here we go. Um, first one we'll start with is the Astro A40s. Um, this is a, a frequency sweep from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Um, all the headsets claim they can do 20 to 20,000. And this is uh, showing whether or not they can and, and how well they actually do that. Um, <clears throat> the A40s. From 20 hertz, which would be on the far left here, to 20,000 hertz, which be in, would be on the far right. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the bottom end here um, isn't all that great. Um, they don't really start to shine until maybe about, eh, I'd say about 100 hertz. Um, it starts to pick up a little bit, but as you can see, like all through here, it's not a very um, like defined sound. You can see all these gaps here are, are frequencies being missed or not played as loud. Um, you can see to the far right, the higher pitch sounds are really smooth. Um, I mean, they peak out. This is probably who know five thousand hertz or something here. Um, which is really high pitched and it's playing that frequency super loud. Um, so yeah, that's what this waveform looks like. I'll compare it to some of the other ones. Um, obviously that's what we're here to do. 
Um, I did the uh, Triton AX360, so let's see how those things look. Here we go. As you can see, um, 20 hertz on the far left. Now you can see there's no like spiky areas. It's all pretty smooth, um, which means it's it's a pretty even sound as far as like the frequency like range goes. Um, like I said, there's no peaks and valleys. It's pretty smooth. Um, you can see at probably a thousand hertz here. It's it's peaking out. I mean, it's playing the loudest there, um, and, and the really high pitch sounds here um, are tapering off here towards the end, which is fine. I mean, we really like that really super high pitched ear piercing sounds anyway. So um, these, to me, by looking at this, uh, I would say outperform the A40s. Um, I'll show you those again. There. And the 360s. And let's compare those to the Triton AX720s. These kind of look similar as far as the spiky areas go um, to the Astros. Except for the 720s seem to have a little more bottom end. So it's playing the bassy areas real smooth and much louder. Um, but as you can see, the high pitched areas in the mid start to taper off here. Um, and the really high pitched stuff doesn't even exist in the 720s. So by looking at this, it's producing bass and that's about it really. I mean nothing else. I mean it's pretty it's it's even across but the bass is heavier than the the highs, which is definitely a problem. Um, so let's compare these to the three sixties again. Let's see. This is the highs are just Opening up, it's going to sound much brighter. 360s, the bass is uh, it's there. It's it's good enough. Um, so these really sh probably these sound better than the 720s. All right, let's take a look at the Pro model. Let's see what those things got. Ooh, look at that. According to this, it's it's bottom heavy. There's no peaks and and spikes anywhere. Um, it's it's pretty it's a nice looking wave um yeah i mean that's beautiful so yeah it's ton of bass as you can see here i mean these things play down to 30 hertz i mean you can hear the 30 hertz um when you compare that to the the astro set uh, let's see the astros here they don't even start doing anything to about a hundred. So that's kind of a problem. So, yeah, here we go. Bass heavy, which is good. And then it's playing everything else pretty equal all the way across. Um and it and you you can you can tell. I mean you put those bad boys on and it they sound great. There's they don't sound hollow sound perfect um, and I bet if you did some tweaking it's you know you could probably get this bass if you want it to be completely equal and even all the way across you could tone you could turn the bass down I'm sure a little bit um, but the way I have them set up I think they're just about perfect um, so yeah looking at all four of these uh, waveforms I would have to say the uh, the Triton uh, X Pros outshine the other three um, by far. Well, um, I hope that helps somebody. Um, if there's something that I'm not seeing here that somebody could, uh, you know, shine some light on, feel free. Um, yeah, there's a ton more tests and, and, and sound checks and stuff that I did, and we'll go over all that here shortly.